One of the things I heard decades ago that I did not grasp right away, and it really jammed my brain when I first heard it and I had to wrestle with it before I began to understand it. And it was this one line that said, you can have whatever you want in life as long as you don't want it. And I wrestled with that for the longest time. It's like, how can I want it and not want it? How can I want money or want a car and not want it? I changed the wording a little bit because I'm a word guy, so it made a little bit more sense to me, but the concept's still strong. And that is, you can have whatever you want in life as long as you don't need it. When you're attached, when you're dependent, when you're desperate, that's the that's the energy that you send out that ends up attracting more desperation, more neediness. You don't get the thing you want. You end up getting this feeling of desperation, which you think is driving you. It's the whole attractor factor in a nutshell, really. But it, it's really a thought. I guess there's so many things we've covered on this amazing <laughs> call. I'm just blown away by this. I'm going to have to listen to it myself to just grasp everything we've touched on. But this idea that you can have whatever you want as long as you don't need it, meaning that you can have it as long as you're not attached to it. You can have it as long as you're not going to live or die if you don't get it. You can have it as long as you're not desperate for it, you know, needing it, uh, addicted to it. You can have whatever you want as long as you don't want it. In the attractor factor, I say there's a missing step. And there's step three. I call it the, the missing secret. And that's the idea of getting clear. Getting clear means that you want to get clear of all the negative beliefs within you, the programming and so forth, that, that are in the way of you achieving whatever it is you happen to be. When somebody says that they can't do it because they feel like a phony, that's a belief. They are giving it power when they keep repeating it. I feel like a phony. I can't do this. I feel like a phony. I can't do this. Well, repeat it enough. It's your reality. It goes back to some of the things we talked about earlier. And then there's this whole perception thing that we talked about earlier, too, that they may feel poor, and I don't know where they're living, but I imagine that if they're in a one-room efficiency and they got a refrigerator and maybe not even a TV, they're living better than people in true poor countries and third-world countries or living better than people that were in castles in the 1500s. They are in the, the highest level of riches in comparison to somebody else. So when they say that I'm really poor and whatever, they've made a judgment about themselves. They want to get clear of that. So for me, it's all going back to getting clear. They're accepting their illusion as their reality, and they're not taking any steps to change it.